everybody, today we're going to be talking about how to gear up in Legion. So as you can see, we're on the 5th uh, day of Legion right now, and we're already at an item level of 844. Um, getting gear is really, really easy in Legion. Getting pre-raid geared is very easy if you have a lot of gold as well. Um, so today I'm just going to be talking to you about you know what to do, where to go, and how to, how to bring in the purples. So the first thing you want to do when you get to 110 is make sure you get on to your class campaign. So your class campaign will be used to unlock your third relic slot um, that will increase your item level of your weapon significantly and that will give you a whole big boost to your item level. Um, this takes about four days to complete all the, uh, all the quests so I, I got mine today um, and that's probably one of the most important things you need to be doing. Just every every single time you log in and just you know keep an eye on your quests and the timers. It they're mostly time gated through your auto class hall missions. Um, so you just they just set a quest chain. They're all pretty easy to do. Um, just complete that and you'll get a huge item level increase on your weapon. Um, so once you started those quests, once you get 110, the first thing you want to do is be going to Surma in the Broken Isles and we start on the quest chain here. Um, and making sure you do as much rep gains per day as you can. Um, so to you need to be doing Surma to be unlocking the two Surma dungeons, Court of the Stars and the Arcway. To unlock these two dungeons, you need to just follow through the Surma quest chains, and you need to be getting to 8,000 rep through Honored to get to trigger the quest for um, unlocking these dungeons. So right now we're five days in and I'm at 3.5k through Nightfall and, and I've done everything I could to do that. Um, so once you've done that, once you've started your Surimar quest and you've done all the dailies for the day, that's when you want to start to look at gearing up. Um, so the easiest way to gear up under 810 is just get a group, you can either do it from people in your guild or with people from trade and go to heroics. So to get into heroics, to key for them, it's an average. You need an average item level of 810, but you can walk in at any item level. Um, so what I did is we just had a group of five of us. We would be going. We just went and did about three or four heroics as soon as we um, completed our Suramar quests, and we walked straight into a heroic. Um, we got to about 800 light item level, 810 item level, sorry, in heroic, and then we went straight onto mythic. Um, the dungeons are actually really easy to do if you have a you know, if you're decently competent. Um, so at about 8, 10 item level, you know, we went straight into Mythic and we cleared every single Mythic. Um, with the uh, with the gear you get from Mythic, it has a really high chance to Warforge. So as you can see, like I've only done eight dungeons this week, all the all eight, and pretty much every piece of gear I have from Mythic is Warforged. So the two rings, both sockets, um, socket. So yeah. Um, getting getting uh, getting a high item level from that is, is very easy too. Um, so once you've completed all your uh, mythic dungeons for the day, you can go back and do heroic dungeons to farm specific trinkets that you want, depending on what class you're playing. Um, so that'll that'll pretty much get you up to the point where you're you know around the 840 item level, and from there, the last thing you want to be doing is looking to fill out spots with crafted gear. So as you can see with this back piece, I got a pure haste back piece. I just we, we just have a little group in our guild. And we just we just you know create 30 items at a time and we just divvy out um, whoever whoever's best stats are on gear. So as you can see, yeah, this this back here is uh, pure haste. Um, so this is my best in slot back. And so we just we just um, upgraded this item through obliterums. Um, obliterums are pretty expensive right now, depending on your economy. But if you if you're crafting, if you're making the obliterums yourself, they're uh, they're really not cheap. I think I'm we made we're making seven each for about 20k worth of resources, which honestly isn't really a lot, considering you know I've I've made about 900k since the expansion has uh, come out. So that's pretty much it. The actual gearing process is fairly straightforward. There's a lot to it. Um, like there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of like time behind um, a lot of the things you do. You know, I might just say go do all the mythic dungeons with a group, but you know that can take you an entire day. Um, but getting getting to a decent pre-raid item level is uh, fairly fairly easy. You know, I've done it I've done it in five days. Obviously, we still have another two weeks before raids come out, and in this time, I am looking to be crafting um, as much gear as I can um, and. Trying to get the double proc haste for everything on disc, and um, 
and probably disenchanting everything else into obliterum and then upgrading the items I have. So that's that's going to be my the future gearing plan for my character. Um, so really, really what to take away from that is that the biggest points is, you know, as soon as you get to 110, do your class or campaign. You want to be doing Surma, then you want to be getting straight into dungeons. Don't be grinding out normals, don't be grinding out heroics. There is literally no point in doing them. You want to be doing around 3 to 4 heroics, get get to that around 8 10 item level, and then get straight into mythics. Um, the mythics aren't hard. Um, you know, if, you, if you're playing your class correctly, you can be doing mythics at 810. We were doing, like, like we were doing, I was 810 when we were doing them, our tanks and DPS were about 800 item level. So, if, if we can do it at that low, I'm sure, I'm sure other people can too. Alright, well thanks for watching, I'll keep it quick.